so you want to become a better salesperson. This is John Young with the Disc Jockey News. Thank you for watching today's Tuesday Tip of the Week. Today, we're going to be talking about how to become a better salesperson. I've got five little points I want to share with you that are kind of little traits of very successful salespeople. On our Tuesday Tips, we're going to be taking business advice from around the world, really. And I'm going to be taking that advice, kind of condensing it, putting it together, and putting a DJ spin on it. So that way, I'm basically going to help translate some of this information to an applicable form, which you can use in your business, and you can use it right away. Tonight, we're talking about some traits of successful salespeople. Trait number one is successful salespeople are someone that the consumer customers trust. They are able to connect with the consumer or the customer, and they're building a relationship of trust so that the the customer will trust them and and be able to take their advice and be able to do some things with them that they wouldn't do with a person they didn't trust. Yes, it is possible that people will buy from a person they don't trust, but they're not going to be happy about it. They won't be repeat customers and they certainly aren't going to talk to their friends. As a successful salesperson, you need to be that person that they can trust to handle their next points. A successful salesperson's goal in most cases their ultimate goal is to help someone solve a problem. If they, they know that if they can solve someone's problem with their product or service, that they are going to be able to really be effective in making that sale and helping their customer. In the case of a DJ, you need to ask questions and find out what are some of the hot button issues for that couple when you're talking weddings. It might be that, that they're concerned about the microphone at the head table and you can alleviate that and solve that problem. It might be that they're worried about lighting and the dance floor being too dark and somebody tripping and falling or someone not being able to see. You can solve that problem. You need to ask questions. You need to talk about events, find out what they like and dislike, but it's all about really finding out what the customer needs. Point number three is kind of tied into number two. Great salespeople get a satisfaction or, or, or a, a feeling of completeness by helping their customers. In many cases, more so than, than the monetary reward for being successful in sales. That they can go and they can offer a solution that will help the customer. And of course, they, there's some compensation for it. But that satisfaction of a job well done and knowing that you're doing something for the customer that they probably maybe not able to get anywhere else. That is incredibly valuable and a lot of the top salespeople really are motivated by that more so than money. Top salespeople also know that the idea with number four is that you need to be talking to people. You need to be really spreading out your neck because the more people you're talking to, the more chance you have of finding someone that you're going to you know, have that rapport with. You're going to build that trust. You're going to find out their problems. You're going to be able to help them solve their problems. If you're not talking to enough people, if you're a good salesperson, you're not doing it very well. You're not a good salesperson, I guess. This is kind of the moral of that one. That might mean that if you have the gift of sales and the, the trust thing, you really should be looking at things like bridal shows where you're going to have many, many coming through and you're able to meet with them and shake hands and build that relationship and set appointment times. If you're not a good salesperson, maybe the bridal shows aren't a good spot for you because instead of solving problems, maybe you find yourself at the bridal show selling on price and price alone. That's not a good salesman tip. A good salesman don't sell on price. We haven't even talked about price because they're there finding out what the problems are and selling on the problems, taking satisfaction with that. But they know that in order to be able to do all those things, they need to be in front of people. They need to be talking to people and really finding out what are those hot button issues with this group of people. And finally, successful salespeople realize that that rejection is part of the business. We can't be the right person for every client out there. Some people we, we match up really well with and we can offer our services and they'll buy and everything's great. Sometimes the prices aren't right and we can't uh, you know come together on that. Sometimes what we offer, it may not be the right thing, the right solution for that particular customer. But we know that refusal isn't refusing or rejection isn't rejecting us personally. We can't let it just eat us alive, which can happen. A lot of people take rejection way too seriously, especially when it's you know a DJ thing and I'm selling my service. Oh my God, they don't like me because you know, no, there's many, many reasons. Top salespeople realize that rejection's part of the business and you can shake hands, you can turn around and walk away and go look for the next prospect. Well, that's our five points of how to become a top salesperson. Of course, there's numerous, numerous things. These are just some little little tidbits I wanted to give you so you guys could be thinking about, you know, what are some of the things that I need to do as a salesperson in making and building those relationships? Well, that's our five points on how to become a top salesperson. As you're watching, you're probably thinking, oh, John, you missed this, you missed this, you missed this. 
I probably did. I know I missed a lot myself. I just want to give you a little teaser. What I'd ask you to do is take those comments and thoughts and put those down in the comments right below this video. And that's going to become fodder for some additional videos on how to become a successful salesperson. But take those ideas, put them down there for me. I'd love to see them because you guys are going to be coming at it from different perspectives and different ideas. But just right down below me right here. If this is your first time of seeing a DJ tip from the Disc Jockey News, you can click on the link right up here. That is a playlist for all of our DJ tips. Jump up there, click on that link, and you're going to get to the playlist. See them all because there's a lot of great stuff that we put together over the years. But once again, thank you for watching. This is John Young with the Disc Jockey News and Disc Jockey News TV. Subscribe if you haven't. We really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. If I were you, I'd hit the subscribe button before I hit the video. But don't mess things up. Wanna know why? Because I'm Batman.